Super Dean here, and welcome to Okami, the HD edition. I've finally got around to this game. I said I'd play it. Uh, oh, I think it was like last year, nearly six months ago. I was literally just put it away. Yeah, new game, help off and stuff. Quick look. I recently did play this on the Wii, but unfortunately I had problems with the Wii. It just not wanted to record very easily, so I finally got around to get it on HD. I got it once on HD. That disc was damaged. I had to get a new disc, and I finally got around to playing it. And lots of us joined me. You know her as the Five Nights at Freddy's guru, but she is also the knowledgeable one of Okami HD. So I don't know the ex we'll call her the expert of Okami. Stop playing stuff while I'm talking. Keep doing that. But anyway, let's dive into it. Okami. She asked me to play this game. Donkeys ago, and I finally, finally got round to it because I'm an idiot. So. But apparently, it's like a 40 hour game, so thanks, Lozzer! <laughs> Let me ask starting again. I know I did a video on it, but I thought, because to catch everyone back up and to catch myself back up, I thought we'd go from the beginning, not from where I got up to in the Wii version. So worth it. <laughs> long, long ago. Okay. A tiny hamlet known as Kamika lay nestled in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the quiet bung was honoured as a god. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. I'll try and do some reading for this. If it goes horribly, horribly wrong, I'll just shut my face. Oh, hello. To sedate the appetite of Okoro, I'm going to say this so wrong, <laughs> Ochi Ochi hai? A fearsome cave-dwelling beast. A young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. With a body like a mountain and eight heads mounted on their necks, the size of tree trunks, its blood-red eyes alone was said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey the horrific beast. When the night of the sacrifice drew near, a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was dubbed that. <laughs> Shinaru, Shinarai. A wolf can watch, a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. I will apologize now to Loza and anybody who watched this if I completely butcher names, villages, all that stuff. I will do my best. <laughs> People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Ochi Ochuu. God. This is why I was semi terrified of playing this game because I'm going to butcher the names of it. One voyage took it upon themselves to face the fearsome Chunurai, the warrior. Nagi attempted many times to challenge the wolf, but his attempts were thwarted by Shinui's swift movements. Shinui's swift movements. Oh god. Before long, the night of the accursed feast had arrived. A white plumped arrow heralded the coming. The coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk itself into the shaft, squarely. The home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Naga harbored secret love for Nami. Raised by the sign, determined to put an end to the Ochi eyes once and for all, Nagi travelled to the beast's cave in place of his beloved. The Moon Cave, a place as dark as evil itself, served as Ochi eyes home as Nagi stood brave before the entrance. A beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight flashing necks. Ochi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced well into the moonless night, but Ochi's hide was like steel, the blade left ne'er a scratch. 
Why has he got a bell now? He's part of the, oh, he's part of the mountain. At long last, now the energy was spent from the intense battle. Dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for breath. He knew he was staring death in the face. It was the... The, the wolf appeared! <laughs> As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Ochiai. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, it was Shinui, the wolf that dwelled outside the village. Bearing its fearsome claws, Shinui leapt towards Ochiai. Ochi had reared its terrifying head, readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. I hope you don't mind me doing this. I'm actually quite enjoying this. It's so silly. Mysteriously and terrifyingly, the spectacle continued. Shinurai summoned gusts of divine wind to counter Ochi's flames. That was a paintbrush, not wind. As Ochai closed in on Shinu's sharpened claws glistened in. A gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shinurai fought gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, Ochai is protected by a mysti myst mystical power was not easily bested. Shinurai covered in gashes. His majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Ochiai. Ochiai saw a chance to strike, which would be the final blow, but Shinu re refused to give in with its last ounce of strength. The majestic wolf gazed heavenly and unleashed a mighty howl. Time to get who drunk? Suddenly, the blackened clouds overhead dis dissipated. The light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his adversary. Channeling all his strength into his sacred, scarred and battle arms, he leapt ferociously towards Ochiai, his sword poised high. The golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on a string. Puppet on a string. One by one, Ochiai's fearsome head separated from their own, oh, from their owner. Oh God, words. From their owner. Ochiai's broken body collapsed into a lake of its own blood. In that instant, the curse had plagued the village was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Shinu had succumbed to Ochiawa's poison and struggled to breathe. Nagin scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kamika, the village. Kamika. Where they reached the village, Shinru was no longer moving. The village elders gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Shinurai let out a hoarse and pitiful bark, then closed its eyes and drifted off as into a slumber. Peace had at last returned to Kamika village. In honor of the Shinru's heroic exploits, the village the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue upon the wolf within it. Nagi's sword was christened. Oh my god. Tusky Nomi? Tusky Wino? And placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. Wow, that was 10 minutes of me reading. However, oh, this is not the end of the story. There is more to this tale than most people know. A hundred years have passed since Nagi and Shunru's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. Dan dan da! Sorry.
there is, do I dare do trample voices on? The sword that vanished the dreaded Ochi Eye? Hmm. No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend, nothing but a fairy tale. Oh dear. That was a bad idea, Bob. Seeking power, he who has broken my bonds. Speak the words I was dug into the world. Utter that prayer unto me and unleash my power. Super wife ordering packages at the worst time. What happened? What happened? There's a horrible tragedy suddenly switched. Once village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. Well, there's one that seemed to escape the curse. The tiny settlement of Kamika village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. So I had to make sure I'd lock the front door. <laughs> Wood spirit sack you? How troublesome! How tr no, I'm not gonna do that. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. You would love what she does when she wakes up. I think I missed that, sorry lads. <laughs> what has transpired to bring about such calamity? We must act quickly. There is no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years I've spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Oh god. Amateur time? Now is the time. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope and you guide us all. Just call it army. Just call it army. Fine, we'll call it army. Thank you, Oz. Call it army. On oh, the bug. <laughs> Okami! Divine white light, such beauty and grace. Such wondrous spectacles is none other than our mother and the original origin of all that is. I mean. Amy, <laughs> how delightful to see that the saviour who brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years ago has not changed one bit. Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. Sniff. <laughs> oh, put the dog to sleep. Ah. Amy, gaze above. Take the condition of the sky. Since your untimely departure from our midst, the world has succumbed to devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and beautiful country of Nippion. Nippon? Nippon? Nippion? Nippion? 
but never have the circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Too tired. Please use your powers to banish the darkness. He's been, he's been dead for so long, he wants to sleep a bit more, doesn't he? Um, what is this? Has something stolen its way into my robes? Oh ho! Oh ho! Hee hee hee! <laughs> oh god! Ha 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 ha! What on earth? Is it a, was that a bug? You again? Oh, it is she. Oh, is she? Oh, I'm getting completely wrong. Ow, ow. Are you nuts? Boy, for a little thing, you are sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting, that's all. Were you napping in my clothes again, bug? I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I am a wandering artist. The name's Shu. Shun? Wandering artist Shun. We'll call you Ish from now on, mate. Ish, Ish, Ish. I like Ish. I will show you just how great I am. It won't belong to y'all bowing before my great brush. Ah. Well, what do you think? You can keep them the real thing, no? No? <laughs> What's with you, Furball? You look kind of down in the dumps. Actually, you look kind of familiar. Got it. You look just like that statue of the Shinaru. Oh! Whoa, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> you crazy? A handsome guy like me should never be covered in wolf slobber. You regret messing with the great Ishudu? Don't make me use my prize sword. That Dinukumao against you? Doesn't sound good. What's that growling sound? Why is it so dark anyway? Oh, great god, Ami. I've used all the power I have to protect Kamika Village. The village lives on. Their spirits lie encased in my fruit. Cut it free, and the village will be reborn. I trust you. I know that you are, will lead us down the right path. Only you, are. awesome power, can restore life to the world. The tree returns. To normal, huh? The Saki girl sure said some weird stuff. The village spirits are being kept inside the fruit. If you cut it down, the village will be restored. But it's awfully high up there. Some kind of special power? There's no way you're going to reach it. This darkness is really getting to me too. A lot can happen while you're taking a nap. True, very true, a lot can happen definitely. Oh, here we go! Okay. So we're going to the tree then. Going into the tree, going into the tree. We're inside the tree. It got awfully quiet all of a sudden. I don't remember any place like this in the village. We well, better keep on our eyes better keep our eyes peeled. You can use the right still right stick to look around. Ah, that's got him. Yes, I'll be fine. Hold on, that's an origin mirror. They say once you're put the prison, your memories will be stored. Oh, it's a save point. Always go back if you get stuck on something. Okay. So I'm guessing it basically says don't save over the last save. So just keep making. Oh yeah, plenty of news. Okay, fine. <laughs>
We can do that. Yes. River of the Heavens. Right. After all that me waffling on, let's get to it. Although it's pots just waiting to be broken. Listen to Zelda. If you burst them, there might be something good inside. Press X with your head. Oops. Can we catch back up? Hiya! This way. Whoa. Press A to jump, and then press A to do a wall jump. Okay. Easy! It's fine in high places, so keep your eyes peeled and don't miss any treasure. You obtained Holy Bonus! Favorite snack starts free and solo engine. Sweet. Free save files, that is. Okay, so make free. Can I use six save files instead? <laughs> Looks like the bridge is out. So, obviously. Do we do like a wooden jump? Ah, that must be a kind long. May I call you Army? Hey, Army, listen, Army. Spirit of the Brush. Good brushwork has its own soul, unless that's what they say. Just watch! It'll take all day to explain. A picture's worth a thousand words, right? Oh, she's painting the bridge. Oh, okay. Isn't that nicer. It's called Rejuvenation! One of my many bush tickets. It's a bush god's power that can be stored broken or missing things. A 13! 13 bush gods. That deity died at power split to 13 separate gods. All to open objects around us. Gods are no gods, however, that anyone can have the power to master all 13! Oops. River of the Heavens. River of the Heavens? Fable Stardust River? I sure don't see anything like that around here. Could be a little puddle over there, could it? Oops, oh, bad idea. So it is. Ooh. Stars twinkle. I haven't seen such a beautiful nighttime sky in ages. Hey, look at. Pattern? No, it is a pattern. The dragon! <laughs> Just plop. <laughs> bah. What? A bit. Uh... Hang on. I'm... And then tap X. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, it didn't work. Okay. okay. No! You gotta give me this game. It's not giving me a second. I know what to do. Jesus. Oh, come on. Stop being mean now. 
Is that it? <laughs> Probably give it freestyle here. Yeah? It's a bit sensitive. No wonder they did it on the way. Ah, why? It's too... If it's in my... If it's in... Oh, God, words. Yeah. I apologize for not sooner during these long years having never forgotten you I oh god Yogi Yomagai Yomagama the god of resurrection have eagerly awaited this day when you could again meet while you were away the 13 spirits of the brush that you once possessed including myself have been scattered across this land of men and now I lie in disarray I became a Constellation? A constellation? I managed to survive until now. The time has come for you to seek out and reunite all the techniques. <coughs> <coughs> Have I been muted this whole time? Oh, God, I better hope not. Your power is what is needed to restore the dry riverbed of the heavens and renew the flow of the stardust. Wow, that was Yogimai, the god of rejuvenation. Wait, so you have the power of rejuvenation now? Can you really use it to restore the river of heavens? That would mean you were as good as the bush as you were yours truly. Nah, it couldn't be. True. Who else could master this incredible god technique? Well, I will show you in a second. For achievement. And the power of rejuvenation. Right, so, I just need to end it there for a minute. I'll get straight back to it. Okay. I'm skipping this right there. You can pull out something like this. I'm sure I can. It's just a river. How hard can it be to paint a river? Right, so, oh, it's a fan. Ooh. I don't think there's any way to do like a quick cheeky save, is there? So yes, so this is Okami HD Edition on the Xbox One and all that jazz. So yes, finally going to get around to playing it, and it's going to be a very long, I bet a very fun game to play. So I'll also probably have most of the time the expert of Okami with me in the mixer chat, and I'll try and put her comments in the description bar below. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Super Dean!